Hello there, and welcome to our Winter Solstice Energy Reading. It is 1221 on 1221. <laughs> How appropriate is that? Unplanned, and yet there it is. So, we're working with the Everyday Witch Tarot, which I've been using all this month. For whatever reason, it just it had to be the card of the month for me, or deck of the month, I guess I should say. And let's just go ahead and dive in. If you feel like you need a pause, if you feel like you need to center yourself or ground yourself before you view this reading, just press pause for a moment. Allow yourself to take a couple of breaths and then press play again. Okay, here we go. So, well, goodness, our first card for this winter solstice reading is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Doesn't she look rich? Doesn't she look comfortable in her power, comfortable in her wealth? Perhaps it could be said the Queen of Pentacles has come to a position in her life where the abundance which surrounds her is the result of her accepting her worth. Uh, what a wonderful statement. And um, for some of us, perhaps it's a challenge to accept our worth. It can be a challenge to, ex to allow ourselves self-worth. It can be a challenge. And yet, within that permission, within that framework of self-worth, lies what is probably the key to all abundance, because it permits us to recognize the abundance that dwells within us, the abundance we share every day through sharing love, sharing wisdom, sharing light, sharing our work, sharing our interpretations of situations, sharing who we are at the very core. That's a lot of abundance there. Why wouldn't we recognize our worth? So, so in this, on this day, which brings in the season of winter, on this day, which in the Northern Hemisphere is the shortest day of the year and longest night of the year, and in the Southern Hemisphere, is the longest day of the year and the shortest night of the year, let's strike that inner balance of accepting, acknowledging, and being in our self-worth. And permitting all the abundance that arises from that. All right? I apologize if there's some noise in the background. There's something happening in the other room and it's, it's very loud for me, but hopefully you, either you won't hear it or it'll be very soft, it won't matter. Okay, so card number two for these solstice energies. Okay. <laughs> what happens when we acknowledge our self-worth? What happens when we accept our self-worth and open ourselves to all the abundance available to us? 
what happens is we complete each other, we complete ourselves. Most importantly, we complete ourselves, for we can only help others to be in completion when we are complete. Yeah, and I, I have to say I'm kind of surprised a little bit by the terminology. All I can think of is, uh, Jer is it Jerry from, yeah, Jerry Maguire, I think, that, that phrase, you complete me. And that rankles me a bit, I have to confess, because I don't feel it is our job, responsibility, to complete another person. In fact, we can't truly complete another person. We can only truly complete ourselves. So what I'm taking from this message is that through honoring ourselves, through honoring our self-worth, through honoring all the abundance we have and that we bring into the world, then we create an energy of completion for ourselves, which then ripples out and supports others to find their own measure of completion. Yeah. All right. So lots of self-empowerment here, lots of self-acknowledgement here. This feels really, really important. And I feel, I feel like this is setting us up for the energies of 2018, which I'm not sure we'll get into. No, we won't get into that yet today, but it's a setup, a wonderful setup, an important setup for 2018. Okay. So, oh my goodness gracious, why not? And then here's our third third card for this super powerful, highly feminine, deeply uh, abundant solstice reading, the Queen of Cups. And her measure of abundance is different than that of the Queen of Pentacles, and yet it's only different in how it appears. The fact is, there she is, pregnant. She is in the full force energy of creation. And creation is born of abundance. And abundance is born of creation. How's that for a pretty perfect circle? She has here everything that she needs because she is everything she needs. Her sense of self, her sense of self-worth, her emotional balance is in harmony with the soul, with the earth, with all that is and in this way, there is for her all abundance. Yeah, I just heard the world is her oyster and that might seem trite in some way. And yet, honestly, it's pretty spot on. Um, I mean, truly, that's the energy of this card for the framework of this reading. And I don't know, there's something really important about the fact that she is in a place where there are dolphins dancing in the background, where there are fish leaping, perhaps dancing here right at her feet, where there is harmony between a cat, which would otherwise be considered um, a prey of the fish. The cat's much more interested in playing with the water that's <laughs> dripping from the shell she holds. And I don't know, there's, it's just 
it's truly so beautiful. And I'm going to bring up the Queen of Pentacles so you can see the difference. And yet, I'll invite you to find the similarities. What do you notice are the similarities for these two women? What is it about their faces, or as I just heard, their constitutions, that is so very similar, even though what appears around them is quite different. It's, I just heard fruits of their labor. So here's, that's really interesting. So with the Queen of Pentacles, the fruits of her labor, let's suppose that her labor is uh, growing. It's uh, growing these, these beautiful trees and plants. And then beside her, she has a box of coins. So the fruits of her labor and then the fruits of her labor, two different sorts of fruit. The fruits of the Queen of Cups labor, perhaps she still bears that fruit. Although I would say that the fact that she does bear that fruit, and by that I mean her very pregnant belly shows the fruits of her labor. So, and I just heard freedom in regards to the world here. Because the thing about these queens too is they bear the hallmark of some framework of responsibility which makes sense, and there's nothing wrong with that. And yet, between them, and perhaps bridging them, is this wonderful freedom that's depicted in the world card. I mean, there's a home here, so that indicates some sort of responsibility, and yet she's having a party, or here she has a picnic, and she doesn't seem at all bothered that her hat is flying off and perhaps she's even helping it. We can see the wind. There is movement here and that's important too. As anchoring as these queens are, because they are that, they're both very grounded, very anchored. There is movement. And that movement comes. It comes in the way of moving into winter, moving into the new year, moving into a new season of light. And that's the promise of the solstice. That's the promise of you. Happy solstice. Blessed Yule, much love.